All right, Tim, so today we're gonna to look at um, escaping side control using a frame and a rocking chair concept, right? Um, so this is a really cool technique, um, a little bit embarrassing for your partner or opponent because you're gonna go from the bottom position to the top position in one movement. So the previous two side control escapes we went back to a neutral position, this one we go straight to the top. Um, but that being said, it's a little bit trickier to do. It doesn't happen as frequently, all right? So my partner's gonna take the same short base position we've been dealing with previously. Still want my same arm positions, but what I'm gonna work at here is I'm gonna look to, uh, to off balance my partner's weight so they can't be sitting too far back, all right? So I'm gonna encourage them to come forward by attaching and then pulling their weight on top of me, all right? So I need to start with not being flat on my back I need to rock into them slightly and I need to tighten the grip slightly here as we go. All right? That's gonna allow me to generate a little bit of momentum with this rock. You can see Rose's butt starts to come off her heels through this process. That's a sign that her weight's shifting past the tipping point. All right? Dead center is tipping point and I need her weight to go across. All right? So I'll, I'll demonstrate the technique and I'll give you another bit more of a breakdown. All right? So I'm gonna come over and I bring her to the far side and establish my own side control. All right, let's look again. Come on, guys. Same grip, so I turn in and get attachment, hold it nice and tight, and then transfer her over to take the top position. All right, so let's have a, a little bit of a deeper look at what's actually going on here. All right, regardless of which side she takes. So, my elbow is wedged firmly under her hip bone, right? and I'm getting this part of my forearm to support the weight. Now, I don't want to be too far up by my wrist because she'll collapse my elbow here. So it needs to be very close to the elbow so that I can start to support her weight through that arm here. Right? The second part of what's happening is I'm using my, my arm on the head side to help pull in and hold her tight. But the other bit that's happening is my my bicep is pulled in, well, but it's pulled in against her arm. So she can't post that hand freely on the mat to stop her from going over. This would stop that whole technique from working, all right? So when she takes the underhook, I'm gonna use this hand to trap that in while I get connection here, all right? You can also support this process rather than grabbing the lat if it, su it suits the body types more to pull down on the head, even the straight. Yeah, straight. Right. Let's keep your head straight, there you go. So pulling just straight down. All right, um, and we can rock them over from the head as well, all right? And my goal is to get her spine to go up like this. So holding her head end down and elevating her hips until she's off balance, all right? When you guys are doing this on top, be mindful, keep your head tucked when you're, dim uh, when you're being practiced on so that you don't just spike yourself or face plant straight into the mat, all right? Now, depending on the angle they take, you can either pop them uh, straight across the top like this where their tail is going to go super high before they come down or you may end up rolling them on this plane across their side so with the angle that Rose is on at the moment she's going to get rolled a little bit more to her side and you can see that she's rolling sideways rather than straight over all right but once she's off balance I can take that to come straight up to the top position all right now let's try and demonstrate one where she's going to go straight over them so this normally happens as they come around a little bit more towards north-south. So she started to come up, all right? And at this point, the same principles apply and we rock her and bring her over the top more, all right? So less of a sideways rotation and more hips up and straight over the top, all right? The planes of movement um, are kind of complementary, so you can use one or the other or a combination of the two and they'll achieve the same outcome, but they do feel quite different too. So just keep that in mind. Uh, this technique's a really great option when they're aggressively hunting that, um, that far side Americana or, or cutting arm bar. So when they're on top and they're really trying to pin this arm to the mat and attack it, it's quite often when I'll use that chance to try and elevate them and roll them through. All right. So that was the rocking chair escape from under side control. Give that one a try.